So the preseason is finally over for the Packers, and I think coming into this preseason, one of the biggest questions we had as Packers fans was, can Jordan Love take that next step forward? We saw him in 2021, his inconsistency, playing versus the Chiefs as well as the Detroit Lions, and going from year two to three, there was expected to be some kind of jump because we see that lots of times from lots of NFL players, and I think the one takeaway I have from Jordan Love and his 2022 preseason appearances in all three games was he has taken a massive step forward from where he was one year prior. Is he perfect? Definitely not. There's still lots of areas for him to improve. But we've seen a guy who has gained control of this offense, and I want to read a quote from Aaron Rodgers describing um, Jordan Love and sort of how Aaron Rodgers sees him right now in the steps that he's taken forward. But we've seen a guy who has a strong arm, who can um, you know, throw the ball where he needs to. Most of the time, there are still inaccuracy issues. But in that preseason game last week versus the Chiefs, He had a few drives where he was in in control. They were driving down the field. He was converting first down after first down after first down. And I think to see those things that we didn't see a year prior just shows the growth he's taken. And so now I want to read a quote from Aaron Rodgers that was from a USA Today article. And here is what Rodgers said. He said, I'm always harping on the little things, Rodgers said. The reads and stuff. Just understanding the offense. I think he's definitely become a master of the offense. But it's just the little things that are really going to help him level up. And a lot of it is footwork and the little things like arm angles on run action, his keeper fakes, his hard action fakes, his run solutions and RPO game, helping to marry up with the running game. That's what I like seeing. So Aaron Rodgers on Jordan Love says, I think he's definitely become a master of the offense. And one, I guess you could say, benefit of Jordan Love being here in Green Bay, sitting for the past few seasons, including this season as well is he's been able to sit under one of the best quarterbacks of all time in Aaron Rodgers, and he's been able to learn exactly what he needs to do to master this offense. Aaron Rodgers also brought in the Packers, but Rodgers had a part in it. Brought in quarterbacks coach Tom Clements' offseason, who was a big part in teaching Aaron Rodgers all of his fundamentals as he was growing up as a young player in the NFL. So I think when you pair Tom Clements' addition here to Green Bay, being able to learn under Aaron Rodgers, and Jordan Love coming into his third season, We've seen those massive steps forward, and I think when you hear Matt LaFleur praise Jordan Love, when you hear Aaron Rodgers say he's a master of the offense, these are the things I like to focus on because it's easy to pick apart his poor plays and his inconsistency, which there still is at times, and he still has a ways to go. But all you want to see in a young player like Love, who doesn't need to start yet, is these progressive steps forward. And another thing I love about Jordan Love is his the mobility we see from him, his ability to escape the pocket, and I think that the more that he grows as a player, the more that we'll see that sort of aspect of his game improve as well. And so coming into 2022, we're probably not going to see Jordan Love for the rest of the season. So he has an entire another season to take steps forward and to grow and to learn this offense more and more. And so considering just the massive improvements we saw from year two to year three, I can't imagine what we're going to see from year three to year four. So it does give me confidence for what Jordan Love, what a future with Jordan Love at starting quarterback for the Packers could look like. And as I said time and time again on this channel, we don't know exactly how long Aaron Rodgers is going to play. It could be a year, two, three, four. There is no, we have, we don't know what's going to happen with Rodgers. So to see Love taking this steps forward is promising. But that is all I wanted to break down today. If you guys have not checked out my Packers email newsletter, feel free to click the link down below, sign up for it, and you'll get the one to three emails depending on what I see each each uh, each week breaking down different aspects of the Packers and give my thoughts and writing different articles. So click the link if you want to be subscribed to that. But thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time.